In order to keep your scoreboard and controller operating at peak efficiency, you may be instructed by a technician to remove and replace the EEPROM chips in your controller and scoreboard module. This video will guide you through the steps required to perform this procedure. There are at least two EEPROM chips in a scoring system. There is one chip in the controller and one located inside the module of every scoreboard and shot clock at your facility. When you are replacing the EEPROM chips in both your controller and module, be sure to place the correct EEPROM chip in the correct device. The controller EEPROM chip will have KBD printed on the white label. The module EEPROM chip will have SER printed on the white label. Let's begin by removing and replacing the EEPROM chip in your controller. The tools you will need for this are a Phillips or star tip screwdriver to remove the screws on the back of the controller and a small flat tip straight screwdriver to gently pry the old chip out of the board inside the controller. First, disconnect the AC power or battery to your controller. Remove the four screws on the bottom panel of the controller with the Phillips screwdriver. Next, locate the EEPROM chip inside the controller. The EEPROM chip should have a white label with a printed software version affixed to it. Note the orientation of the notch on one end of the EEPROM chip. Make sure you replace the new chip with the notch in the same direction as the original chip. Next, pry up the end of the EEPROM chip with the thin straight tip screwdriver. Make sure you are prying between the chip and the socket and not beneath the socket. Carefully remove the chip from the socket on the motherboard. Again, ensure the notch on the new chip is oriented exactly as the old and gently press the new chip into the socket. Be sure you are correctly inserting the chip into the socket and ensure you do not bend any pins or leave a few pins hanging out of the end of the socket. Reattach the bottom cover of the controller with the four screws using the Phillips screwdriver. Replacing an EEPROM chip in a controller should take approximately 10 minutes. Next, we will update the EEPROM chip in a control module. First, turn off the power to your scoreboard or the shot clock. Locate and carefully remove the controller from your scoreboard or shot clock. It may be helpful to view the video tutorial describing how to remove the controller for your specific scoreboard. The tools you will need to remove the EEPROM chip from the control module are a quarter inch nut driver bit and a thin flat tip screwdriver. With the module out of the scoreboard, use the quarter inch nut driver to remove the screws holding the module cover. Note the cover has flanges on one side of the cover. These flanges will need to be reinstalled in the correct side of the module. The flanges are located on the side of the module where the power connects to the module. Remove the screws on both sides of the outer cover. After removing the cover, locate the EEPROM chip inside the module. Note the notch on one end of the chip. Be sure to replace the new chip with the notch in the same orientation as the original. Using the flat chip screwdriver, gently pry up the end of the chip. Slowly work all of the pins on the chip out of the socket on the motherboard. Ensure you are prying between the chip and the socket and not beneath the socket. Next, replace the new EEPROM chip back into the socket. Again, ensure the end notch is oriented exactly like the one you removed. Fasten the cover screws and again ensure the cover flange is next to the power port on the module. Reinstall the module back into the scoreboard or shot clock and connect all of the cables to the ports they were removed from. Connect power and turn on the scoreboard and controller. Check to ensure both are functioning correctly. Removing a module from your scoreboard or shot clock should take approximately 30 minutes. 
Scoreboard module removal will depend on the scoreboard location and type of lifts or ladders you have at your facility.